Hello friends, it's Chris again with another quick Kerbal Space Program video. On my career mode save, I'm at the point where I'm trying to build a base on the moon, but it's pretty expensive, so I go into sandbox mode to try to experiment with saving money and try to salvage as much as possible. I'm not too comfortable building space planes, and I like using the fairings, so I've come up with these reusable rockets to try to mimic how NASA reuses their solid rocket boosters except these are liquid fuel and this rocket has a 12 ton payload with this rover that I'm starting my base with and it has about 6k delta V with the 12 ton payload you could probably put a bigger payload in there if you use more of these boosters maybe four or you could probably get six with the different coupling and some more struts but uh, these are all stock parts and no mods so the idea is to get this rocket into orbit and as soon as that happens switch to these and deploy their parachutes and salvage them because if you let them get below 25,000 uh, altitude 25,000 meters then they will disappear so each one of these has four air brakes which you use to slow down to about 550 meters per second and then the drogue parachutes will kick in and then there's four of those on each booster and then when they, those will slow it down enough to be able to use your big parachute and I have three radial parachutes on the bottom and those will slow it down to about 13 meters per second which is gentle enough to land and not explode and each one of these has a remote guidance unit so that you can go and control it after you've released it and again there's just two tanks and a rhino at the bottom there so we'll go ahead and try and do this again no mods and only stock parts so I thought it was a fun little challenge to try to come up with the reusable um, first stage basically And I'm, I imagine you could probably do this with some bigger rockets as well. So at 100, I pitch 10 degrees to the east to do a gravity assist. And around 300, start to... Tune it down a little, like they say in the tutorial, until we get to 20,000. Once we hit 20,000 meters, we'll go full bore and then burn the rest of the fuel in these. Okay, we're coming up on 20K. Go ahead and start a burn, full burn. And this is just, I'm not using the main Rhino in the middle yet. I'm only using the three boosters f for now. That's just how I roll, I guess. This should take us to about 100K. So then we'll gently push those away. And then we'll switch to each one and toggle the brakes to deploy the air brakes. We'll go ahead and deploy the parachutes too. Get those deployed too. Then we'll go back to our main rocket. I like to keep those, see where those are at as I do this. I like to do the burn at about 30 seconds. So those boosters are climbing. They started their descent. So 
So we've got about 50k before those disappear. Computer's lagging a bit with the recording going on. So as soon as we get 70k, as soon as we hit that low earth orbit, we're going to switch to these. Cutting it, cuts it pretty close, but we should be good. All right, now let's switch to these. So, see, so you can see we're close enough on all three of them. They're getting hot, but the arrow brakes are going to slow them down considerably. We can switch between the three of them. Let's see, there go the drogues. And then the mains. And they'll drop us way down to about... I could probably tweak the values a little bit so they open a little later because they actually float for quite a bit here. But you can see all three of them are hanging out and are all close enough to each other to... and fairly close to the station, to the uh, Kerbal base there, the, the Space Center. And again, I could probably tweak the parachute values a little so they open a little later because it's kind of a drag waiting for him to uh, drop the final 1300 feet there or meters but uh, yeah all three of these are going to be salvageable so I thought that was a fun little thing to do and I don't know I imagine you can do this with bigger booster type rockets you probably need more air brakes and parachutes but I don't see why it wouldn't be possible. They're all three very close to each other. We'll go ahead and wait for these to touch down. Maybe I'll speed this video up here real quick. And we have Splashdown. As you can see, the three rockets are all good. Nothing exploded. Then we can go back to our uh, main craft and continue our mission. So I hope that was enjoyable and maybe gave you some ideas to how to make your own reusable craft. But that's kind of what I came up with so far. So if you like it, uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.